So our bonus checks have finally arrived guys, uh, sort of a little joke for all my NC players out there, but what I mean is that on 5-19-2015, Daybreak has finally announced in their newest patch that new characters will receive 100 free certs per level if they are under BR15. I have included the full text from the patch notes above, and as you start off on BR1, this means you'll get a total of 1400 certification points to spend. Now, I know many of you who are just starting off may be wondering what to invest in with those free certs. Um, remember, you'll still get the regular income of cert points as you would normally by playing the game, and the extra 1400 is just a huge bonus. Uh, in my opinion, it's better to go ahead and invest most of those points into one class, focus it all into one class, and use them on things you can't normally purchase with Daybreak Cash anyways, as opposed to you know just spring around through different classes and trying different things out. Now in this video, I'll be going over some of the entry level builds to get you guys started and the class I'll be covering here will be the Heavy Assault. Now the gameplay in the background is footage of my new Terror Public Heavy Assault that I just remade so I can show you guys how much more combat effective you can be with just the extra 1400 points. The first build I want to go into is for those who want to be well rounded on the battlefield with anti-air capabilities. Uh, in my opinion, it is the most cost effective and is great for those who are just starting off. So to start off this build, we will be using the resist shield taking at level 1, getting the one time scope, get two med kits, and max out your advanced shield capacitor. Uh, lots of competitive players use the resist shield and advanced shield capacitor combination because uh, those two things really really complement each other. Next you want to get an anti-air lock-on rocket launcher, um, it's called different names for different factions, but the TR have it as the ASP-30 grounder, the Hawk GD-68 for the NC, and the Nemesis VSH-9 for the Banu. Very important you get a lock-on rocket launcher if you want to effectively combat those air vehicles. Um, in the background footage here you can see me on my Banu Heavy Assault using the Nemesis on a swarm literally a swarm of mosquitoes. Uh, I think they're attacking our tech plant here. As far as the order of what you want to get first, I personally would go for the one-time scope first and then get the two med kits, then get your rocket launcher, finally finishing off with the advanced shield capacitor. But when you're just starting off, I wouldn't put that many levels into the resist shield because you'll be spending all these certs and all you're really getting is just one extra second per level in the duration. You know, eventually, later on, you may want to fully max it out. Uh, I believe at the max level, you do get 10 seconds of the resist effect when you turn it on, but with limited resources, it may just be a good idea to stick to level 1, as in my opinion, that's more than sufficient. The build here will cost you a total of 1,146 points, leaving with 254 spare points uh, just for you to use in whatever you want. Uh, you could dump it into the resistance shield if you want, or save it for another class, or maybe even save it for weapon attachments. Uh, if you're part of the NC, it may not be a bad idea to use it for uh, attachments for the Gauss Saw. And if you really hate the Gauss Saw, you should try out the GD22S. It's 325 cert points. And don't forget guys, you still have 478 points, uh, points that you would get from just playing the game until BR15. Uh, this is just going to be more than enough to get uh, weapon attachments with. Uh, and if you're in the NC, you can definitely buy the GD22S if you're going down that route. The second of the two builds is personally my favorite between the two I am showing here. We will be using the expensive but awesome Adrenaline Shield and uh, this is what I'm using in all of my heavy assault footage that I'm showing here. Easily my favorite shield type because it's a lot more reactionary than the resist shield because you're essentially just adding more HP rather than just mitigating whatever damage uh, based on whatever HP you have left. In this build, uh, because the Adrenaline Shield is so expensive, it will be a little bit more tricky and you won't be able to get that anti-air rocket launcher, uh, but who cares because you can destroy just about anything and everything else. We'll be starting off with getting the level 4 of the Adrenaline Shield which will cost you 1,250 certs, get the one time scope for 5 certs, 2 med kits at 150 certs, and just get a point in the uh, nano weave. Uh, this will bring it to a total of 1,406 cert points. In the order of what you should get first, get the skull first, then get the two med kits, and then get up to the level three of the adrenaline shield. 
Now guys, don't forget, by the time you are BR15, you will have accumulated around, you know, 478 points. So feel free to spend on uh, weapon attachments and um, get the GD22S if you're NC and if you completely hate the Goss Saw. Uh, heck, you can throw a few points into other classes if you want. But you know, whatever you guys decide on once you finish spending your certs on the weapon attachments and things like that, go ahead and drop the last 500 certs on the level 4 Adrenaline Shield. So guys, make sure you eventually max out the Adrenaline Shield as soon as possible because it just gets way better as you max it out. Though you may be stuck with level 4 for a while because level 5 will cost you a total of 1000 certs to get. So this just about wraps up this video on the two builds I'm suggesting you go with if you play the Heavy Assault class. The extra 1400 certs definitely opens a lot more options and I'm really happy Daybreak went ahead and did this. Um, please let me know what you guys think, what are some of your builds that you would suggest to build for the Heavy Assault. Uh, let me know if I got any of the numbers wrong and please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you like my content. Until next time guys, I will see you on the battlefield.